The suspected Walmart mass shooter entering a not guilty plea in his first federal court appearance. I'm Daniel Money. And I'm Natasha Paloma. Patrick Crucius faces 90 counts. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields here to break down what happened in the brief court appearance. Well, the defendant did not enter the federal courthouse publicly from the county jail where he was held just a block away. Instead, he was privately transported by U.S. Marshals. He also wore a blue blazer, gray pants, and a tie rather than a jail jumpsuit, but was handcuffed at the hands and ankles in court. Under the federal courthouse rules, cameras were not allowed inside. U.S. Magistrate Judge Miguel Torres read the defendant his rights, summarizing the charges after defense attorneys David Lane and Rebecca Hudsmith requested the skipped reading of the 90-count indictment. The suspected gunman kept a quiet demeanor in court, never speaking to the judge directly. He also filed a waiver of detention hearing, which would have been held to determine if he could be granted bond. Outside the courthouse, several of his defense attorneys in both federal and state charges gave media little to no comment on the case or reasons for motions filed. I'd rather not talk about the case at this time. I understand your interest, but it's just too early in the case. Mr. I have not looked at the federal indictment yet. Uh, I'm not on, uh, representing him on the federal team, so I really don't have a comment on the federal indictment. Joe Spencer, Crucius' defense attorney in the state's capital murder case, told media the alleged gunman did appear to be thinner during today's appearance, saying he does speak with him in the detention facility and said he's just not eating. Judge Torres scheduled an arraignment for February 18th, but the defense filed a waiver on that mo motion, which the judge accepted, canceling that appearance. Crucius will remain in U.S. Marshals' custody, and no further court dates have been scheduled. Stephanie Shields, KTSN 9 News. All right, thank you, Stephanie. Luis Calvillo, who survived the shooting but lost his father on August 3rd, says he does not agree with what he says is special treatment that the accused shooter is receiving. In a statement sent to us, Calvillo says, quote, I hope he gets the punishment he deserves and we can all move on with our lives. Old